Ah, my precious, it has arrived. My new iPad Pro, and we're gonna open it up together. <laughs> Hey everyone, Shadow here, and my iPad Pro has finally arrived. I pre-ordered it April the 30th, and we got it today, the 21st, the official release date for this iPad Pro, and it is the 2021 version, is the 24th. So three days from now is the official release. So I've got a nice pre-release iPad Pro. All right, so we're gonna open it up together here. All right, now see the box, see what it look like. I'm gonna blur out everything I don't want y'all to see. Open. That looks nice. That looks really nice, guys. Uh -huh. All right. A little flap here so you don't have to rip the whole thing off, as you see. Nice and neat. All right. Another tab here. Ooh. So I was at first worried about the size because my old iPad is 9.7 inches and this is 11. I think this is actually thinner and it doesn't seem to be any um, longer. You know, if it is, it's not by that much. So it's not going to be a problem for me uh, playing it. Same, same feel as the other one. All right. So that's what it looks like. You can see the camera on the back here. And let's see. All right, so instructions. We don't read instructions, do we? Comes with uh, one charging cable. Yep, different uh, different uh, connector type. Comes with, uh, of course, the charger. And I believe that is it. All right. Take the plastic off of it. Space gray. Yeah. Look at that. All right. So first thing I'm noticing uh, and I did read about this, so it's not a surprise. There is no um, home button. On my iPad, there's like a button, the home button, like right here, you know. There's nothing. Nothing there at all. Uh, and that might be where they save some of the real estate, why this doesn't feel any different than the other, even though it's larger. It has a larger viewing uh, size. So I wonder how that's going to work. There's the uh, power button up here. Speakers. You got the speakers on both sides. And I already have heard these and they are fantastic. All right. Power button, volume button, 
yeah, it's going to get some, uh, take some getting used to, because uh, I'm used to that home button. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, you know, of course, the thing I'm going to be doing the most with this is playing MCOC. And I'm used to quick tapping, you know, double tapping that home button uh, so that uh, it will, you know, um, switch out. And then when I come back, it's paused automatically. I'm going to have to learn to do something a little different now, um, but we'll see. But anyway, this is it. Uh, I will be um, setting it up, playing around with it, getting everything installed on it. And then by the time you guys see uh, the next uh, live stream, It'll be on this one, okay? And big shout out and thanks to everyone that contributed uh, to this iPad Pro. Uh, I know uh, Apex Predator, big, big supporter of the channel. Um, David Collins, big help also, huge donation. Uh, Light Skins, thank you very much for your donation. Uh, Relentless Grinds, I believe you also, uh, let me just make sure, because I don't want to uh, miss anyone. I'm just going back over my uh, feed here. Let's see who, because some of you, you know, like, there we go, David um, donated. Let's see. We got some here. No message. Just sending over some support. Okay, Brown Panther. Thank you, thank you very much also for your contribution. Let's see. I'm just looking to see who super chatted and uh, mentioned the uh, iPad Pro, that it was to go to it. And I believe that is it. Yeah. All right. Um, and I'll check. And of course, you know, if there's someone else that I missed, uh, I will uh, give a shout out uh, later. Okay. So thank you all very, very much. Everyone that supported me. Uh, this is huge. This is the only the second Apple device I've ever owned. The old iPad that um, I bought 2018 was the first. All right, let's talk a little bit more about what I actually got. So as you can see here, the iPad Pro 2021 comes in two different versions. One is the 11 inch and one is the 12.9 inch. And we'll go over some of the differences, but I got the 11 inch. Now, my primary reason for purchasing this is of course to play Marvel Contest of Champions. Of course that's not all I'm going to do with it and I'm thinking about the future, it's an investment. But you guys will get the benefit because and I know you guys were wondering but I've gotten zero crashes since I've been using this new iPad. All right, no crashes and I've played in the arena over 2 hours no crashes. In fact, it has not crashed once on me. Okay, but let's go over, uh, you know, we're not going to go too much in depth. Uh, I got the uh, space gray, as you saw. Uh, capacity, you can see the different capacities. Uh, I got the basic one, 128. Uh, to get more would cost a lot more. Um, I think it was like over $2,000 uh, at the top end. All right. Here are the sizes. Um, of course, the 12.9 uh, inch is a little bit heavier. Uh, the 11 inch felt pretty good. It was light. Uh, I don't know how heavy my old uh, iPad was. It wasn't a pro, um, but this seems a little bit lighter to me. All right. Um, buttons and connectors. All right. So it has four speakers and I can tell the difference. It sounds good. In fact, funny. I had it turned uh, up and didn't realize it. And when I was playing Marvel Contest of Champions, I normally play without the sound. 
This time, the sound was on, I had forgotten, and I was looking around trying to find where the sound was coming from because it didn't sound like my old iPad did. It sounded like speakers, like real speakers with bass and everything. So that's a big difference that I noticed right off. Um, of course, it has microphones. I have not tested the microphone quality or anything like that just yet. And uh, you see it has a top button. You've got the volume buttons here. Um, one thing that I had to get used to is that there's no home button. And I mentioned that earlier. No home button. And that has already gotten me killed once in the arena because my reflexes are to double tap that home button that will, you know, switch out. And of course it will pause or I could double tap and then kill the game right quick. It's not there. So I went and double tapped, nothing was there and I died. Uh, but anyways, that's something I have to get used to. All right. Uh, now, uh, this is what came in the box, the iPad Pro, uh, USB C charge cable. One meter is not very long. Uh, 20 watt USB C power adapter. Now, funny story. I have an iPad, uh, 2018. All right. And I wanted to get faster charging because it was charging a little bit slow to me, probably because the cable was dying, but I wanted to get faster charging. So I looked it up and, uh, they suggested that I get the iPad Pro charger, which was faster. So I actually bought a USB-C adapter. But if you remember, the iPad has a lightning uh, adapter, uh, so or connection. So I had to not only get the USB charger, USB-C charger, but I also had to get a cable that was USB-C to lightning adapter, okay? So now I have an iPad Pro and it is USB-C. So I now have two chargers that are USB-C. One cable that of course converts. I have a cable in the, or an adapter in the car, but it goes to the, you know, iPad uh, so it's a lightning adapter. So I'd have to get another cable if I want to charge this in the car. Speaking of the charging, it is fast. All right. So today my power went out. It went out all over the neighborhood and quite a good distance outside of the neighborhood. Uh, and it was out for over an hour. I had been playing and my battery was low. It was like about 30% uh, percent or so. And of course I had the other iPad uh, that I could switch out if I needed to. Uh, internet was still on, and I have a um, I have a USB, uh, not not a USB. I'm looking at the USB here, um, but I have a UPS battery backup. So my computers was on, the modem was still on, so I still had internet. So what I did was I went and plugged in the iPad Pro to, you know, one of the strips that's connected to the, uh, um, it's an APC, um, I think, did I get an APC? Yeah, APC uh, UPS. And I went to sleep. And like I said, it was out for an hour. But when I woke up and I checked, it was full. It was back up to 100%. And it did that in less than an hour. I don't know um, how fast it did that, but it, it, it's pretty fast. Okay. Uh, so I like that. All right. Uh, the other thing which doesn't really concern me personally is, uh, the 12.9 inch comes with that liquid retina XDR display. Unless you are creating graphical content and things like that, not going to care about that. The liquid retina display is the same display as what you're used to. Still good. You can see all the specs there. I'm not going to go over every single one of them. Um, but that's the one that I'm using. It is beautiful. I love it. Here is what I was really excited about. And I don't think we have seen everything that we're going to see 
that this new iPad Pro is going to be able to do. So this is the first iPad that has the Apple M1 chip in it. And you can see the specs. You're probably not too concerned with them, but all you need to know is that it is the fastest chip in any iPad. It's the first time this iPad is the fastest iPad that they have ever made, that has ever been, okay? Um, now, uh, the memory, and this is something that uh, makes a difference, I believe, to the crashes that we've been experiencing. This iPad Pro has eight gigs of RAM, okay? And my old iPad had, I think it was two or three gigs. Now, what I believe is happening in the crashes, and the problem is on Kabam's end. It's not a hardware issue. But something in their code, and this is just my uh, opinion here, uh, is not cleaning up after itself. And so the application, the game, is continually eating up resources. You know, every time you load up a, a window or load up a screen, load up champions, uh, resources are being asked for, but then not all of them are being released and then more are asked for. And so every time you do that, more and more is being asked for. And if you have a device that doesn't have a lot of memory or doesn't have a lot of memory available, then you're gonna experience the crashes faster because the application has a memory limit and it's gonna shut down, which is what I think is happening when it reaches that limit, which is not all of your memory. It's whatever the limit is for that app. And maybe the limit is based on your memory. I'm not sure how that works, but that would be why different devices, um, even the same device can have different results. So with eight gigs of RAM, they would have to eat up a lot. And like I said, I don't know what the app limit is, but I don't believe it's the same as all of your memory because you still need to reserve some for your um, the system itself, the operating system. Okay, so the iPad Pro 2021, pretty fast. Uh, I like how fast it loads. Um, definitely see a little bit of an increase in the loading speed when I'm, uh, you know, grinding the arena. So you guys will see that uh, when I stream again and you see me doing uh, the arena. All right. Camera, I'm just showing you guys this. It wasn't a deciding factor in me purchasing this, um, but it's nice to have and I will find a way to use it. Probably get a stand and perhaps when I expand and do... Uh, my other channel with my sister, we may end up using this in order to uh, stream and capture, okay? Uh, the recording, nice that it has 4K video recording, haven't tested it out. One of my complaints about recording on the iPad was that it seemed, because it was something new that they had added uh, not that long ago, if you ran out of space, and remember, my old iPad didn't have a lot of space left. I'm recording a video, you know, recording a fight, uh, recording a path that I'm doing in a, you know, a variant or something like that, and it, I run out of space. Now, instead of it warning me or saying, hey, you're about to run out of space, save the video. That way I could pause, do whatever I needed to do with the video, get it off of there, you know, transfer it someplace else. No, it just dies. It didn't save the video, nothing. Everything that I recorded, gone forever. And that happened more than once. And I said, no. And so I started using my computer, just mirror it, just like I do for uh, streaming, mirror it, and then just record it. And that's what I used to record. So the video recording doesn't really excite me all that much, but I'm glad that it's there uh, if I if I actually need it. All right, you never know. You never know uh, when you might need it. Uh, here you go, true depth camera. Again, same thing. Video calling, not interested in FaceTiming anybody, really. Uh, audio calling, 
uh, speakers. We already talked about the speakers. Microphone, haven't uh, tested it out, but my old iPad was supposed to have a microphone. I think everything that I read, but it never worked. Never, ever worked. All right, so I'm happy to have something that actually has a microphone in case I need to stream or at least make a video from the iPad itself. You know, maybe my computer went down. I'd at least be able to make a quick video on the iPad to let everybody know what happened, you know? Couldn't do that on the old one. All right, and there we go, cellular, wireless. I did not get one with cellular. That was a whole lot more money, I'll tell you that. Um, just need the Wi-Fi. Okay. Uh, sensors, the face ID. That's also something that uh, I had to get used to. Uh, I, you know, it went through the process of capturing my face from all the different angles. And I was surprised. I, I tried to trick it one time. Uh, I went in front of it with my reading glasses on. Okay. I had, I had just some uh, cheap $1 reading glasses. And I put these on and it still recognized me and still unlocked. And of course it has a pin backup in case it can't see it or you're covering the camera, which I do uh, sometimes. All right, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Apple Pay, not interested. Siri, not really interested. Charging, we talked about the charging. Uh, and the battery power. Uh, the battery power, good. Uh, battery and power. But um, the battery life is pretty good. Uh, I told you I went down to 30%. That was after hours of playing the game. Usually, on the old iPad, after a two-hour session, you guys have seen it if you've watched me on the live stream, uh, my battery will go low real fast. Um, I mean, it did give me two hours, but not too much more after two hours. Uh, and so this one, I can already tell that the battery life is much better. Uh, the operating system, I've already updated it to a 14 point, whatever the latest one is. Um, accessibility, not really too uh, interested in any of those. And then, of course, you have the uh, built-in apps. Uh, I think I already deleted one of them. I uh, don't remember which one it was. Uh, but anyway, so that is it, guys. Um, let's see here. Shout out to everyone that uh, donated. And I mentioned some folks already. Um, you know, we've got Apex Predator. We've got David Collins. We've got... Um, Trying to remember Relentless Grinds, Light Skins, uh, Big Blue, always there for me. Uh, he's always dropping donations for me to use however I want. Um, and the way that I usually do it is if you donated and said, this is for the iPad Pro, that's what I use it for. I don't use it for anything else. If you tell me, well, here's money, use it as you want then I may or may not apply it to the actual iPad fund or whatever I'm collecting at the time. Uh, so there were folks that did that and their money goes for me eating food, uh, any non-food items I need, you know, personal hygiene items, things like that. And um, also maybe some accessories because I'm thinking of getting a stand uh, for this as well. Uh, so I might use some of uh, the donations that I've gotten, uh, Super Chats, Cash App, any of that, and, uh, you know, get get some uh, accessories. But that's going to do it, guys. Uh, I'm very excited. I'm loving it so far. Uh, it feels great. Do have to get used to the, you know, no home button thing, but that's a minor, minor issue. Uh, my hands... Uh, feel fine. Now, there is something that has happened and I got to get just used to uh, where my hands are placed because it is slightly larger. Um, a couple of times I went to hit the uh, special and missed. It was a little bit lower than I am used to. And so, of course, I went boom, right down where it normally is. It wasn't there. It's lower because it's a little bit bigger. Um, but not a not an issue. That's more just me getting used to uh, the new placement of where it is. All right, but that's going to do it. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care, 
and you all have a blessed day.